Hi everyone and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how we can implement the conversion tracking code within um, a website and I'm talking here about the revive conversion tracking code. So this tutorial is going to be a bit long so I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. The first thing that you need to do is to go as an administrator within configuration then conversion tracking settings and then enable the conversion tracking. Normally it's a set uh, by default so it just just uh, double check that the checkbox is on. Then as a manager, you need to go within preferences and within preferences, within accounts preferences and uh, within account preferences, you have the possibility within the user interface preferences to set the different metrics that you would like to display within the report. And the one that you are interested in is the one named conversion. So you have to put it on. Um, then you need to define uh, uh, of course, a conversion tracking code. So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a full brand new campaign. So I'm going to go over here within my advertiser account. I'm going to create one which is called like uh, OBS conversion tracking. Okay, just OBS conversion tracking. I'm just going to override it. And just, uh, I don't need those information, but let's imagine that I will need them. Uh, so save change. So here I have my campaign, which is created, the one which is named OBS conversion tracking. I'm going to add a banner to it. The banner I'm going to add is a generic text banner. It's going to be very simple. So simple add. Okay. And here is my add to click on. Okay. So that's going to be the text of my ad. Then I need to indicate to which page I want to send it to. So I create like a fake page, which is named uh, page.html and I save my changes. So now I have my banner, which is linked to a campaign. So I can get within my, my banner in itself. I have my delivery option. I have my link zone and my advanced settings, all good. Uh, then I need to go within a zone and I need to create a new zone. And this zone is going to be like the OBS, OBS zone. Okay. Uh, it's going to contain text ads and this text ad is going to be the one that I just created. So you see here, I'm going to click on link banner and I'm going to select the banner that I just created. Okay. So it's uh, OBS conversion tracking one banner. Okay. And I have it. So now I have my uh, banner, which is linked to it. So I can uh, call the uh, invocation code. So that's why I'm just now copying this code and I'm going to go back on my page. So this one is my page, which is called simple ad. So it's just a basic HTML page. I'm just going to paste that out over here. Okay. So now if I go on this given page, which is called simple ad. Okay. And here is the ad that I just created. Okay. So that's the part you are not interested about because the part that you are interested in about is about the conversion code. So now we, as we have an ad, we can start to measure. So in order to create a conversion tag, you need to go here within uh, the advertiser. Then you click here on tracker. Then you click here on add a new tracker. I'm going to call it OBS conversion tracker, OBS conversion tracker. Uh, here, whatever you select is fine. Okay, so I'm going to save change and then I get my OBS conversion tracker. So as you can see now, it's expecting a campaign to be linked to it. So in my case, it's going to be the OBS conversion tracking that I just created. I'm going to click here on save changes. So now it is uh, linked. And then I need to click here on invocation code and the things that I should take into consideration is this part, which is really important. It's the conversion window and the conversion window correspond to the period on which you would like the cookie to be still active once the person is going to click on it. So here I need to select and say, okay, I want the conversion window to be up to 30 days and save my changes. So now it's on and I can go back. Uh, over here, click on the invocation code. And now I get my invocation code. I'm going to take the JavaScript tag. And now I need to implement this given tracking code at the moment at which the given internet user is going to click on the ad. So uh, the page that I created is this one. Uh, so this is the page on which the user is going to go to once he clicked on the ad. And what I would like to measure as a conversion is the click made on this given button. So what I did is on this given page, I added a Matomo Tag Manager, which is a tool in order to be uh, to easily deploy some tags. I'm going to go over here 
and I'm gonna remove this given conversion tag that I had formerly and I'm gonna paste it. So uh, just gonna remove those comments because I don't need them. Okay, and that's it. So as you can see, I have to script. This script is more here in order to uh, debug. So here conversion hobby as I'm gonna name it. So you don't have to take care about this, just me for debugging with, with Matomo. And uh, this part of the script is really interesting because this is the one I just copy and paste. Okay, so here in Matomo Tag Manager, I created a custom HTML uh, tracking code. And this custom HTML tracking code is nothing more than this given tracking code. And I'm gonna execute it every time that someone's gonna click on an element of a page and this element of the page has an ID which equals conversion. And the reason why it's like this is because on this given page, I have one element, as you can see over here. Uh, which is id equal conversion okay so now it's good so all i need to do is to update these parts and now to publish it okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna publish it uh obs i'm just gonna call it like this okay and now it's now it's live okay um then the most difficult part I will say is to debug and see if everything is working properly. So what I'm gonna do now as I've been as I published it, I'm gonna go in private mode in Firefox. And in fact in uh, private mode what's happening is that the cookies are deleted. So that's that's really interesting. So in my case now I'm gonna go to simple add, I'm gonna inspect the element and see what are the different cookies which are which are stored here. So um, okay, got some, just gonna, okay, so here I get my Matomo who is on this page, I get as well, um, I get as well this cookie indicating that this is this given banner which have been uh, fired, so the number 31, and I have as well two additional uh, cookies which are just here. So. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on this given ad. It's gonna redirect me to the page. So I click on it, I go on the page, I can inspect the element and I will see the different cookies which are which are on. And now normally if I click on this given button, as a result, I will have within my Matomo the event which is sent plus uh, the conversion. And in order to check if the conversion has been properly recorded, what you can do, because in uh, Revive, you will see it just 60 minutes after, what you can do is you can go within uh, your uh, database. And in database, you have some several tables which are called bucket here, and which are storing the data before pushing it to, uh, before pushing it to Revive. So here, for example, this one, if I remember well, is counting like the click now this one is probably counting the impression this one's uh, the click and this one a it's counting uh, the number of conversion so so far I don't have any conversion as you can see over here but if I click on the given button probably I will get I will get one so that's what I'm gonna check now so let's go over here and I'm gonna click on this uh, button okay so it has been Clicked. So normally if I go now in Matomo, I will get my event, which is about um, which is about uh, conversion RBS. Okay, conversion RBS. So here it means that it's fine. And now if I'm lucky enough, I should see within uh, the database over here. Okay, great, I got it. You see the conversion which have been uh, recorded. So uh, now I know that it's fine. So in fact, in Revive, uh, you may be a bit frustrated at the beginning because when you look at the statistic, you won't see uh, the conversion straight away because it takes up to 60 minutes. So that's why using uh, your database will be handy. Here, for example, those data uh, are a bit from the past. But what is interesting in, um, in Revive is when you have the conversion which have been set uh, you get in fact more data about the given uh, internet user who clicked on it. And that's it uh, for today. So uh, please uh, give it a try to the conversion tracking code in uh, Rewrite, try to implement it. If, it. if you have the feeling that it doesn't work, look at the different cookies which are set, which are here in order to ensure that the um, visitors has been properly measured with the ad. And then look as well within the database to see if the value of the conversion has been pushed. 
Once more, thanks for watching our videos and do not hesitate to create your own videos and share them on social networks.